Hey, this is Rob Isom with the Virginia Endurance Series. I'm here with Kyle Inman, the amazing race director of the new XXC Virginia. It's a four race series. And I've got him here today because we're gonna talk over the course at the upcoming Middle Mountain Mama Race, which is just a classic, classic Virginia. That country, beautiful, unbelievable single track. So this is like the Disneyland of mountain biking. Kyle, go ahead and just take us through the race, the, the, the double XC race. Well, this is the first that. race of the XXC VA. This is the first year of the XXC VA series. If I might plug that a little bit, but this race is also, and has been for many years, the very first race of the West Virginia Ultra Series. We have yeah. interlocking series and number yeah. three race of the XXC yeah. four. VA four race series is also in West Virginia at Slady Fork, so we're really excited Slady about Fork. that. Slady Fork, can't wait cool. to race Slady So interstate Fork. between two classic yeah. backcountry uh, racing states in the world. Right, tell okay. us about it. So this is down at the State Park, and this is your George Washington National Forest all on the outside. We're going to start here, and it starts off immediately on single track with a nice rocky climb up Blue Suck. Uh, you go for about a mile, and then you take a nice left and just start ripping across Locust Gap. You're going to have so much fun on that before you head on up Middle Mountain on Stony Run. And this is a, a, a long switchback trail, as you can see. Uh, not a steep grade, but it goes on and on and on until you finally arrive at the Middle Mountain Ridge where the fun really begins. The first time out the ridge, you will take the entire ridge, the whole of the ridge, all the way out. Look at how long that ridge is. This it's is so about a four mile slightly rolling, but mostly downhill until you reach the very end, and then it's extreme downhill. And if you see right. these ancient switchbacks that are carved out of the stone there on the end of Middle Mountain, you're going to be dropping about 800 feet at about just over a half a mile. Wow. So that's uh, some good tech stuff for all you uh, riders out there. Then uh, we're going to get on this little dirt road piece for a short bit, jump into what we call the lasso loop, which is comprised of this incredible piece of trail that climbs up what we call Blueberry Hill, even though this is also known on the maps as Brushy Ridge. There is a turnoff that goes to Salt Pond Ridge, another classic backcountry single track, downhill primarily. Uh, some really rocky, neat stuff in there before dumping you out on Lime Kiln Road. You do about two miles of dirt road, then you're going to return up. The reason we call it the lasso loop is you're going to go back in the way you came out. This is going to be about a mile climb here on open fire road after you turn off of a proper dirt road, uh, back out the way you came in. Then this time you're going to take Dolly Ann Road, four miles of dirt road climb, gentle grade climb, until you reach the back side of Middle Mountain and that takes you up a hideously steep half mile <laughs> to the top. Yeah, that's a punishing climb. So Good. this is the only duplicate section you will be seeing, and once you arrive for the second time at this intersection, this is Salt Stump, you're gonna go down into Dalton State Park, you're gonna end up following exactly the race course that the rest of the cross country riders do on their 21 mile adventure, uh, taking all this classic single track, slight amount of road, back up Ross Camp to Mountaintop, Mount on top is insanely steep and beautiful, switching back and coming down, back up Brushy Hollow, and down the most